Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're visiting York University Station, another station on the TTC Young University Spadina line that is part of their recent Vaughan extension. Opened in 2017, York University Station is quite grand and elegant and just like other stations on the extension. And unlike many other stations on the extension, this massive square footage is actually justified with it being the busiest new station in terms of passenger traffic. And it served almost 35,000 passengers daily in 2018, almost as busy as a main bus and subway terminal like Don Mills. Let's hop on the Toronto rocket and head there to take a look. Before we jump into the video, we would like to give a huge shout out to our newest patrons, Adam Murphy and Dan Dixon. You guys rock! Joining us over on Patreon means you will be able to get earlier access to what we're up to, behind the scenes footage that you won't be able to find anywhere else, a direct channel of communication to us, it's just a great way to help supporting us bringing more videos to you guys. Now back to the scheduled content for today. Located at the center of York University's Keele campus near the intersection of Steeles Avenue and Keele Street, York University Station is four stations from Wall Metropolitan Center Terminus in the southern neighbor of Pioneer Village Station, which we visited before. We arrive on the northbound platform of the station and take the wide, spacious and clean center platform into our view. The style of this platform is quite similar to other platforms on the line, but if you look up, you can see parts of the concourse before, as well as this wall full of small squares sharing the same aesthetic as the art piece of the station we'll see in just a bit. These walls and the ceiling are decorated with V-shapes and triangle shapes, which is a feature we'll be seeing all throughout the design of this station. The platform features the usual amenities such as a designated waiting area, lots of good vertical access, and it, like the other stations on the Vaughan extension, has TV screens showing the arrival times of the next few trains, instead of just the closest one. Alright, time to take one of these very long escalators up to the concourse level and take a look. The wide open concourse is filled with pillars in the same V shape that we've been seeing, and this is where we'll be able to see the art installation that is part of the station, on a wall closest to the platform below. This is Piston Effect by Jason Bruges Studio, and it consists of a series of glass panels backed by LCD panels, and whenever a train passes by underneath, the panels will light up in various different wavy patterns, super cool. This concourse is the bottom level of the wide V-shaped station building, and the center of the V dips down to reveal the large window letting in some wonderful natural light and brightening up the whole concourse, as well as providing a little area for students to sit and relax among the unique architecture and green bushes. At the center of the concourse is a rarely seen man collector's booth, as well as rows of fare gates, enough to handle all the traffic from the students who commute to and from school. Each end of the V opens up to escalators and stairs leading up to an entrance, so passengers can access either side of the York Boulevard loop easily. This loop is where the TTC and GO buses used to stop when they were still serving this university but they've since been all moved to Pioneer Village and Highway 407 to relieve traffic on school grounds. And besides three night routes, the only regular TTC bus service still serving a school nearby is the 41 Keel route. YRT services were also ended at the station, leaving only Brampton Transit, or Zoom, still serving the school with its 501 Zoom Queen route about 200 meters north of the station itself. York University lives up to its grand size by being genuinely well used by the students at the school. And even though it doesn't have a bus terminal anymore, it is still a great transit connection for commuters and students alike. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to tell us your favorite station on the Vaughan subway extension and where you'd like us to visit next in the series. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and consider supporting us on the Patreon for behind the scenes access and extra footage. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.